Hey guys, Space Reader Techie. Today I'm going to show you a tool that I use in my Active Directory called uh, Active Directory Janitor from a company called SpecOps. Now this, this little utility makes things a little bit easier when trying to move either user accounts or computer objects between the various different organizational units. Um, and it's a pretty good tool for, for scanning and looking at various diff different properties of either, of either accounts or, or computers. So um, this is the interface here and you, you're presented with either asking to, to scan computers or users. For this demonstration we'll use computers. Um, we can either put accounts in manually, we can, act, we can add accounts from our active directory, from our domain, um, and I've got quite a few uh, you know, a few hundred different OUs there with computer objects in them. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the import from a text file because if you take a, a standard text file, you can put the computer names in this and it'll actually search for those names and then scan the properties that it finds against those names from within your Active Directory. So I could just go to import text file, go to browse, select your text file, click on open, go to add. I go five computers are added and they get added in this uh, selected accounts here. Now you have some various different properties that you can uh, can scan against. Um, you know what the OU they sit in, the creation dates, descriptions. Uh, I tend to use the operating system, the service pack. You can check the last logons, ping, the address. Um, you know some pretty pretty good options there. So I'm just going to leave these at the defaults that I that I use on a daily basis, which is ping, IP address operating system and then service pack and just click on start scanning and what this does this checks all the accounts against your DCs and it brings back some uh, some values tells you whether they're actually alive whether they're in DNS or not um, whether they've timed out or not so as you can see these are all in the state of done uh, it's five out of five there's the IP addresses this one is the Windows 2008 server just need to make a little registry change for that to show the actual IP address and not uh, the IP6 address. Um, and then here we can see the operating systems and what service packs they're at. Now what we can do here, we can either export this list as is just by highlighting. Now you can do this just by individually or you can select and then press your shift key and you can highlight the whole lot and then just highlight them all together. And you can do the export selected. Now by default it uses the .txt file um, but you can also use a .csv file so you could just type whatever you want computers in here and actually put a .csv and that way you can open this up into uh, uh, into Excel and you've got your various different grids that you can mark against which is easier for sorting data um, but you can also have other things where you can disable the accounts uh, enable selected, delete the selected or you can move the selected so if you go to the move then what this does, you can then move them into whichever OU that that you want to put them in. Uh, it just makes things a little bit easier, and it's a little bit quicker than just using either the uh, the Active Directory users and computers, or even Active Directory Administrative um, Center. So uh, this thing doesn't come cheap. That's the only downside. It's it is quite an expensive application, um, but it is a very very useful um, app, and it's something that I use pretty much every single day. So uh, I hope you found it useful. Thanks,